I want to end this chapter with another word problem with three unknowns, three equations, and it's um, one that you might want to solve through substitution rather than elimination. So I thought it's worth looking at one that we could solve by an alternative process. So here we go. Three numbers add up to 299. The largest is 71 more than the middle number. The largest is also 20 less than twice the smallest number. What are these numbers? Now, I like to give problems like this where the numbers are large enough that they're difficult to guess. And so, because uh, I want you to do an algebra. If you're my student, I want you to do algebra, not sit there and guess the answer. So, let's go with it. Uh, we have three, three unknowns, three variables. What should we call them? X, Y, and Z. How about S, M, and L for a small, medium, large? I like to use descriptive numbers. That way we won't, you know, again, if we use X, Y, and Z, we might get smallest mixed up with middle with mixed up with largest. So let's use this S, M, and L here. Three clues. The first clue is, there are three clues incidentally because there are three unknowns. Three numbers add up to 299. So small plus medium plus large equals to 299. S plus M plus L is 299. The largest number is 31 more than the middle number. So the largest is, means equal, 20, 31 more than, so that's added on to, 31 added on to M, larger than. L is 31 plus M. The last clue uh, can throw people if you're not careful. And I'm going to write it down wrong, uh, first of all, then I'll correct it. So I want to show you where the where the trip up happens here. The largest, L, is 20 less than twice the smallest, 20 minus 2s. Now what is wrong with that? Twice the smallest, 2s, largest equals 20 less than, 20 less than means subtract from, not this number. Because if you wrote L equals 20 minus 2S, what's wrong here is that the largest number is actually smaller than 20. How can that be? If three numbers add up to almost 300, then the largest should be around 100 or more, shouldn't it? So the largest number cannot be actually less than 20. And so we have those backwards. And um, the 20 less than twice the smallest, that means from twice the smallest, 2s, we're going to lower it by 20. We're going to subtract 20. So 20 less than means subtract 20 from twice the smallest. Okay, now let's do, um, let's do some substitution. And I don't know if this is the, you'll think this is the best way. You might not, you, um, but I want to do it by substitution. And um, easy substitution would be to substitute for L right here or substitute for L using this expression. I think I'm going to uh, plug this into there. L is the same as 2s minus 20. And, but I need a substitution for M. And so let's see, if I take 31 plus M and substitute here because L is 31 plus M, I have 31 plus m equals to 2s minus 20. Now where am I headed with this? I, I substitute for L and I have s's. I want to get nothing but s's here. And so I'm going to now solve for m and I want s's. So that's why I substitute here and I'm going to subtract 31. And we have m equals to 2s minus 51. All right, so I've got uh, a way to substitute up into here, and I'm going to go up top with it. To make room, I'm just going to erase the problem. So let's see here. I'm going to have s plus m was found to be 2s minus 51, and l was found to be 2s minus 20. All right, I have to be careful because my S's tend to look like my 5's, and so i got to be kind of careful here. That equals 299. 
Well, this was a goal of substitution, is to produce one equation with just one letter in. And um, this is, I think, maybe a little bit complicated, but um, eh, I don't know. Maybe it's not too bad either. Well, let's go ahead and, and, and work the problem here. S plus 2S plus 2S is 5S. And then minus 51 minus 20 is minus 71 equals 299. Now if I add 71 to both sides, 5S equals to 370 divided by 5, S equals to 74. So we have our first number, the smallest number is 74, and I can get the largest number here by plugging that in. So L is 2 times 74 minus 20. That would be 148 minus 20, which is 128. So L is 128. And finally, M. M uh, well, the three numbers I have to add up to 299, or I could use this. L is 31 plus M, which means that M is... 30L minus 31, 31 less than M. So that would be 128 minus 31, which is 97. Okay, so uh, we have an answer. And I would suggest go back and, and check in the words of the problem. Do the three numbers add up to 299? Um, is the largest uh, 31 more than the middle number? Is the two times the smallest? Uh, minus 20 equal to the largest number. And because I know the answer to this problem ahead of time, I, I know these answers are correct, but you should check them. The only thing missing, I haven't written the answer, have I? So let's write the, uh, and, and by the way, this is, I've seen this happen a lot. Uh, it's not necessary to tell me what the smallest number, the middle number, and the largest number is. I think that's obvious. <laughs> so, so don't be too redundant here at writing it. Just say the numbers are the numbers are, uh, let's see, 74, 97, and 128. All right, so there we go. And that wraps up chapter three.